Okay guys, real quick, um, this video is going to be to show you how to make the upper receiver on the spinning wheel. Um, I threw up plans last night showing you how to make this part and uh, how it goes on the spine of the wheel or the uh, plank. Um, then here are the other parts from the parts list you're going to need. You're going to need six of these um, quarter inch nuts. You're going to need your one three eighths inch nut. Uh, you're going to need one of your quarter inch washers and uh, your two three and a half inch um, coarse thread hex nut bolts. Anyways, uh, the very first thing I want to tell you is <clears throat> you've drilled your 9 32nds hole up here and then these other two are your uh, 17 64ths. Now after you've drilled those, you need to put it up here on the plank and however you do it, you need to um, drill the holes on the plank by drilling through the holes on the upper receiver because you need them to match up perfectly and if you just measure it and drill, uh, it's not going to work out for you. So you need to drill these and then after you do, you need to put them on there and drill those holes and they're the same. Uh, 932nd and 1764th. So uh, after you've done that, you're going to want to put your two hex nuts bolts in the bottom here. And then you're going to want to um, tighten a couple nuts down on them so that they don't move and it'll always stay like that. At the same time, you want to take this washer and slide it down the front of the spindle oh. and then on the back you want to put your 3 8 inch nut and both of those are uh, spacers and uh, they kind of work as like a bushing as well or I guess not really but uh, that's it that's your spindle and uh, then it goes through here and uh, then this whole thing after you have the bolts in goes up here and that's how it rides but I'm gonna have to put those bolts on really quick to show you the configuration okay there we have it we've put two bolts or two nuts all the way against the wood block that makes the upper receiver uh, we put two nuts on the back and kind of ran them in so that we have room to slide it on the spine. And then as we put it in here, we can actually make our adjustments by pushing these in and out and you can do them independently that will actually pivot this left or right and uh, change the pitch of the spool up top um, i haven't ever needed to i just kind of uh, run them out far enough that i've got plenty of space up here and then uh, i can actually take these two bolts and uh, or, sorry these two nuts and I can actually tighten them down by hand back here and I'm good to go now this whole upper receiver switches out so you build like three of these if you want a two ply yarn and uh, <clears throat> you just have them ready you spin a bunch on to here with your first ply switch it out spin a bunch on here with your second ply switch it out and then you leave them on the ground beside you and ply off of both of them onto your third if that's what you want to do but uh, here it is and it spins freely when you have it adjusted right and uh, the band comes up from here and if you see the notches in that wheel they perfectly line up with the notches here you've got your three eighths inch um, nut back here but you've also got a lock nut down there between the wheel and the spine and that's why they line up the same way is because they're both made of three quarter inch uh, pine wood so you're good to go there after you've got that done and the next video is going to be talking about how to assemble that wheel with the axle right 
so that the adjustment's proper and it spins like it should.